Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Becoming Podcast. We have a, another wonderful guest with us today, Hope Turner, who will be sharing her story and how she is helping so many people around the world with what she does. So um, we'll start that very, very soon. Um, a call out to my sponsor, Share at webdesignshare.com. Thank you for all your help. It, it's, been, it's been fantastic. So, uh, um, And please, yeah, like, share, subscribe as, as you go along. That would be wonderful. Hope, hey, welcome and welcome to the Becoming Podcast. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, no, it's lovely having you here. There's so much to go through. And I know, you know, like I've said to a few of the guests before, for, for the 25 or 30 minutes, we'll probably need to do two or three to get all the information in, which I think we could do quite easily. But tell me, where are you, where are you coming into us from today? Oh, so I'm I'm over in the UK. With the with the lovely with the lovely dreary weather that we have, <laughs> okay, well, I, don't... I don't have your lovely weather, and I can't jump in the sea, and unfortunately, but I'm sure I will soon. Yeah, no, no, for sure. But you had some nice weather. I saw the weather forecast for last weekend, and it looked like you were having quite a quite a nice spell. But um, but at the moment, it's back to the rain and drizzle again, is it? Unfortunately, it's in England. It's a don't blink, you'll miss it kind of thing. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Now, tell us, what do you do? Ah, well, so I am in uh, natural health and passive wealth, and I believe we're here to talk about the natural health side today. Yes, and we could also talk a little bit, you know, about the the, the passive wealth as well, um, because obviously I'm in that as well, and you know we, we know the spiritual side of money and wealth, and I've done you know blogs on it before that how we can not only help ourselves but others around us by having the the money and the finances available. So maybe we can we can put in a little bit of, of that as well. But yeah, let's start with the health side. Okay, okay, so I. Um, how did I get into health? So I was a very, very poorly baby. Um, and uh, it sort of hit again in my early 20s when I was working in London. Um, and I, I was very lucky. I was privately insured and I, I went to see all these different specialists and I, and I was off sick for two years and I was doing everything that they wanted and, and doing everything my GP recommended and, and, and all the rest of it. And unfortunately... Sorry. Unfortunately, my eight-year-old. Um, unfortunately, the um, prescription drugs lost me a kidney, um, which was a bit of a shock, as you can imagine. And... Um, I, I went to my GP, who, who was just the sweetest woman, and I said, look, the, the prescription drugs you've given me are literally only just taking the edge off the pain. What do we do? And she said, well, the next level is morphine. And I had seen both a work colleague and my mother go on to the morphine patches and completely lose their short-term memory and almost age overnight. And I said... Thank you very much. Goodbye. And I came off of everything. Um, and then what happened was obviously I was looking for um, another way of treating it. I was very lucky. I was getting some spiritual healing at the time and uh, I was getting acupuncture and physiotherapy. Um, and I ended up getting a raw fed dog. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to do raw feeding in dogs. So I poured everything into it. And I ended up actually taking a degree, tailoring a degree to natural health in dogs. And I, um, I, I wrote uh, four books on the subject. And I ended up launching a magazine on alternative health for pets, which then uh expanded to an online um conference an, an annual online conference and so i sort of grew that that sort of grew naturally out of what i learned myself um and then i fell pregnant <laughs> and i was like hmm, better do some more research about humans then <laughs> um and so and that's and that's when i went right okay 
masters in nutrition and you know further research into the the area of which that fascinated me the most which was naturopathy and it sort of grew from there really and i've i've gone through uh a, an involvement really i think you could you could say well from from looking at and addressing health through diet and uh supplementation through going through uh, a load of different uh modalities because i had had the 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 very good fortune to have um acupuncture when i was back when i was privately insured going through all the different modalities and um so yeah what we do now what we say to people and i say to people is there are two two reasons for disease the first reason is toxicity and the second reason is deficiency and toxicity can cause deficiency so we look at those because what we want to do is we want to address the cause of the disease not simply suppress the symptoms and let the cause run, the, the cause run riot which is what had happened to me does that make sense yeah no it, it does but you know looking at that i mean the toxicity these days i mean there's such a huge huge area huge subject we're all being poisoned from so many different areas i mean uh, wh where do you start so, <laughs> yes i totally understand so i um i again i started with diet so we only eat organic to start with then you've got to look at the cleaning products and the toiletries that you're using in your house. And you've got to look at the water that's coming out of your tap. So we distill our water before we structure it. Um, you know, we, we, I only use organic oils for cleaning, uh, and, and, and for, you know, washing your clothes and, and no fabric softener and, and all that sort of thing. We have grounding mats under our desks and in our beds. We, you know, we, we address everything in the house as well as outside of the house. So you can also have toxicity to stress and it can literally be down to even the shoes that you're wearing. So we use, we wear grounding shoes, um, but barefoot shoes so that our feet are spread properly and that, and that the balance is held properly and you're not affect, affecting your posture because of having your toes squished together like they shouldn't be. And so we look at as many aspects as possible. What um, I tend to get people to start with is I found this amazing frequency healing device which is very, very simple. You put your feet on it for half an hour, once or twice a day. Um, and the way I, I describe that is you used, you're going to laugh. I use my son's little, little uh, Rubik's ball thing. Imagine this is the cell, right? And all these holes are uh, channels for in and out of your cell and they get blocked, right? So the frequency healing device sort of shakes those bits loose. So you've gotten the toxicity out of the cell. Then what though? Because the night, your body's natural reaction to toxicity is to store it away in fat. And you don't want to be getting rid of the toxicity and actually lay on fat. So then what we do is we use this, which is a colloidal, uh, nano um, form of, um, and the name escapes me right, the second zeolite. Um, and that what that does is it pulls out 80,000 toxins. It's like a magnet. It pulls together 80,000 toxins and it flushes them um, out through your urine. So you're getting rid of the toxins. And if you're going to get rid of the toxins and you're not consuming products that we can't help what's in the air and all the rest of it, but at least you're not consuming products that are adding to the toxicity, you're giving your body the opportunity to heal. And, that's, that's, and uh, so that's where we start. Uh, yeah, that really is. I mean, yeah, to, to be able to do that, to, to clear and to clean the body, to cleanse, and then to almost start from a, from a, a, a clean slate and move forward from that and it's, it's uh you know most people i think you know 
need this in our lives we, and, and to, to move on from that, from not only just the cleaning and the cleansing, but then with the, with the food, with, as you said, all the cleaning products, um, the laundry work, the, the bathroom, you know, the kitchen, it's all areas of our house that we have to look at. And of course, with the water. Um, but, you know, if people are doing all that as well, there are other toxins that are coming into our system. So how often would you suggest or need to be working on this sort of this cleanse uh, for, for say for an average person so unfortunately as i say we so we distill everything that comes through the tap for drinking and for cooking and, and then we have filters on the bath and the shower okay and and that we are never going to stop right mm -hmm. we cannot help what our neighbors decide to spray on the lawns or what comes out of the back of aeroplanes or we can't stop that what we can do is we can get it out of our systems and and this lovely little spray product which is really easy you literally just four sprays under a tub three times a day so easy. That? Sorry, my son now wants some because he's used to it. So yes, it's okay for children and it's completely tasteless. Um, uh, right, that right. gets rid of all of those toxins. It gets rid of it. It stays in the body five to six hours, which is why you need to do it three times a day. But it takes, it, it's, as I say, it's like a magnet for those toxins. So the, the, the barium and the aluminium and the, the mercury and the, all of that gets locked onto by the nano zeolite and because it's nano not the stuff that most people consume which actually is great for the digestive system this is nano this gets into the bloodstream this passes the blood brain barrier this gets everything out of everywhere wow and that is a that's a game changer and if you think about it, I mean, we were always told that you replace every every cell in your body every seven years. No, that's wrong. We do it every one year. So if you think about it, if you can do this nonstop for a year, in a year's time, you will have not only a completely well, actually, different got, like, body, but you will have a, a body that is a hundred times healthier for doing that. Again, that doesn't stop the neighbours from spraying Roundup on their things. So unfortunately, it, it's it's a lifetime commitment. It's a lifestyle, not a, a a quick fix. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. It is a lifestyle change. And it's like um, somebody saying they're going to go onto a diet. And of course, we know that a diet is only for a short term. It really has to be a lifestyle um, change for, for the whole area and from there. And I think we've both, we've got the same filters, water filters uh, at our sink. Um, we, you can give that a plug as well, if you like, and also in the shower. And it makes a difference. It really does make a difference, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's made an absolutely huge difference. I, um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, everything that I use, I, I, I make sure everybody else can get access to because once I've done all the research and all my due diligence on a particular product, I know everybody else doesn't necessarily have the time to do that. So I make sure that everything's available and anybody can get uh, the information that I'm talking about through my link tree. Um, I think I've sent you the link, so I'm sure you can put a little a little thing on the video later so yeah it's just linktree hb turner um so yeah so as i say we, we use a particular we use a, a particular distiller we use filters on the bath and the shower what i found in my research is that a filter um may be able to take an amount of fluoride for example out of your water what it cannot take out of your water is the drugs that other people have passed into the water that the the waste companies can't get out either. The only way to do that is with a distiller. So you've got to find a decent distiller that's going to do that for you. And then, and then what I do is, is, is I put it through a water structurer because uh, if we go back to my son's toy, water, the, 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 the opening on a cell for water is only as wide as one water molecule and normal water actually clumps so it won't get into the cell so we feel like we're hydrating ourselves but we're not actually hydrating the cells so if you use a water structure device it puts it all in single file and you can actually finally 
properly hydrate every cell in your body. Um, so we do. So I, I, I put it through the distiller and then I put it through the structure and then I put it in a big glass bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and then I drink it out of a copper cup and, and everyone's like, you're bonkers, just drink out of the tap. I'm like, no, never again. Never yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and people don't realise the importance of, of what you've got to do. It does take work, all those things that you're doing there to, to make that lifestyle change. I mean, you you had a massive change when you decided that, that no more morphine, no more of, of the of the chemicals or the drugs, the pharmaceuticals. No more pharmaceuticals at all. Yeah. Yeah, and then you had to go through the whole cleansing process. And there's people out there that could be in the same sort of situation, but to realise that the benefits. I mean, how long did it take you for that cleansing process, or for you to start to feel the effects and feel good when you when you decided to? Honestly, honestly, it's difficult to tell you that because and I'll tell you why because. Firstly, I, I was off sick for two years before I said, no, go away. Um, and in that two years, I spent the majority of it on my hand and knees crying from the pain, even though I was taking the pharmaceuticals. So not only did I have to detox from the pharmaceuticals and the healthy diet that I thought I was on, um, but was the um, recommended food pyramid which you and I know is completely is upside down, uh, you know. And I was and I was I was eating all the low fat stuff, which you and I means in no means chemical s storm, right? <laughs> so I had to detox from a heck of a lot. And also, you know, in that time, I had met a huge amount of specialists because, as I say, I was privately insured, and they had all nuked me ad infinitum and put all sorts of radioactive materials in me, on me, and through me. And I'll be honest with you, Jamie, in, in that period of time, I, I spent an awful lot of time watching television because I didn't have the energy to do anything or go anywhere. Um, we didn't have, uh, you know, regular food deliveries back then. So I went, I went to, to the supermarket once a week, and it would it would be like three days in bed after I'd been to the supermarket, and then three days resting up, ready to go to the supermarket again. I mean, that's that's how bad I was. And then, of course, because I had a kidney that was small and scarred, and I had reflux in both of my kidneys. I wasn't just getting toxicity from what I was consuming. I was getting it from within my own body. And what I found was, because um, they said, right, when you have your kidney taken out, we'll sign you off for four months. And I thought, gosh, four months, that's a long time. But I will tell you this, by the, t by the time I got home, after they, after they tried to kill me several times because I was bleeding internally and they wouldn't listen, you can't possibly know your own body. Oh, yes, I can. I've had 13 surgeries. I know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I, after I got home, even though I wasn't up to sort of getting up and about, I felt so much better than I had in years simply by having that kidney removed. So, you know, that was, that was a good starter, if that makes sense. Um, and at the time, you know, I couldn't afford organic and, and I've learnt or I or let me let me correct myself. I felt I couldn't afford organic. I have now adjusted my thinking to what price is health. Yes. Right? Yep. Which is a big, big difference. And so yes, my food bill is more than double what it used to be but what price is your health we have one body this go around and i'm not finished yet and i and my quality of life is more important no, no, no. as is my son yes for sure definitely so um people coming to see you to to um to, to work with you about this um when they're coming to see you or when they contact you and we will put your contact details down below as well um uh, at the bottom of the video there but um 
uh, when you're working with, with the people that come to see you and you're starting off with the questionnaires, what can they expect from you when you when you start with them? So I normally start with, you know, what is their medical diagnosis um, and what is their normal day-to-day process including their diet what they you know what they drink what they and and it's not just it's not just um when when we say lifestyle it's not just diet it's do you get out and do you do you do you get to walk do you are you stressed all the time it's it's all aspects it's it's holistic truly um and then we have to jamie in this day and age we also have to talk about budget right we can only tailor something to somebody's budget and and it's only fair to not take them over budget you know when as circumstances change then then you know little additions can be added i my son and i take an awful lot of supplements on a regular basis and we take organic naturopathic supplements and we take the best ones and some people are like well i can't afford those and i'm like right okay but and then so we have to look at that. And I find people saying, oh, well, I can't afford that. And I'm like, OK, you know, let, let's look into that. Why can you not afford that? Yeah. And and it turns out that because their priority is £150 a month for Sky Television or something. And and so, again, it's all about mindset. It's It's all about if you... I've had people come to me. I had one particular person come to me. He'd been diagnosed... Um, stage four and I said okay well we may be able to do something about it but it is a lifestyle change and I we talked through all the show and did all the research and we talked through all the changes and he decided he didn't want to do that and he died unfortunately and and, but that's his choice at the my my at the end of the day my my opinion is you know if if I've given you all your options it's up to you to choose. Yeah, no, I, um, and, um, right. you give them the choice. You work with the budget to. exactly, and and if you don't have the budget, but you want to have the budget, then that's where we can start bringing in the passive income in order to get you the budget to get you those extra things that are going to make you feel better. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. yeah, there's always ways and means around it. Yeah, no, definitely. And and going on to that, let's let's go into that passive income because obviously I'm, I'm part of you know uh, what we're doing um, in the same circle as it is. So would you like to share a little bit about that as well? Um, uh, so I work with several different programs because again I believe that uh, different people are, co- are comfortable with different things. Okay, so for example the. Uh, the frequency device. Uh, once, if once you've bought one, you can tell your friends about it, and you can earn commissions from that. Okay, the uh, the detox spray. Once you're in, you can tell your friends about it, and you can you can earn commissions from that. So that's that's a nice easy way to do it. There are other things that I'm in where you put in some money, and they give you weekly payback or they trade Forex for you, or they trade cryptos for you, or they put it into um, property, or and you get and you get commission back and you go, right, okay, I can take that commission or I can put it into something else and grow it in even bigger. So there's 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 short term money and there's long term money. And having been in uh, a different company until um, a couple of years ago, um, where I literally put everything that I had in, and unfortunately, um, uh, legal issues occurred through no fault of their own, and and everything just went down the plug. I'm, I'm not willing to put everything in in one basket anymore. So I I have multiple baskets, and they're all chunking away. And some of them are now money, and some of them are future money, and it's all. It's all looking perky and, <laughs> you know, it all helps. And, and at the end of the day, if that means I've got extra money for extra organic food or for extra supplements or for a new device that I want to try, brilliant. Bring it on because my health and my son's health and my animal's health, because my animals, obviously, because I, 
I wrote about raw feeding and I, I had the magazine and I and I and I had the, the conference and everything. So I raw feed the animals and and I have a an almost ten year old cat who's never seen a vet in his life and I have a an, an almost two year old dog who who uh, is an import rescue and so he arrived neutered before he was one year old and that's really can cause immense problems and he'd had all the jabs you can poke a stick at and I don't do those sort of things because I believe there's too much toxicity in them and and that's not how our innate immune system works and so you know there's things that need to be done my son has um genetic mutations called MTHFR uh uh, methyl folate uh, issue which means he can't detox from anything and so you know I have to look at the family as a whole and treat us as a whole as well as individually and if that means I need a little bit of extra money for that then I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to earn it basically um and I think it's and I think it's great that we're in these opportunities and that we can see we I love the fact that we can see it chunking away in the background and i'm like okay great you know come september i'm gonna get a nice big lump sum from there and come then i'm gonna get this from there and that that's just the way it works and if, if anybody's interested in 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 what we do i i will say obviously if you're coming in to something please come in via jamie because jamie is is under me in in some of these things but you can find out from and it's on my thing join the freedom collective.com yeah, thank you. Thank you for, for saying that for myself as well, because it is an area there that we need to be looking at the passive income. Um, we have to have at least one, um, but I normally say two or three in there because we never know what's around the corner, what's going to happen. Um, uh, I have a book which I've, which I've completed again, uh, put a spiritual side to it as well. And we talk about rainy day funds and then the banking system and the spiritual side of money and how important that is. But passive income is is a necessity because when you're out of work uh, or something happens to you, you need that. Um, it, it just takes a weight off your shoulders and you have that belief. Oh, that 100%. And, 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 and what I find is, is that people, obviously we're not taught about this sort of thing in, in, in our schooling system. And people think, okay, it's great. I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. But with the rate of inflation the way it is at the moment, any savings is actually losing you money you'd be better off putting it into something where you can get it out virtually instantly if you need it, but that's actually making you money whilst it's in there. Yeah. Especially because the banks, we know the banks are, um, uh, let's say, not run the way they advertise they are. And, and <laughs> very polite. Well, I would have said something else, but <laughs> that was very polite. Well done. <laughs> I'm trying to be PC here. Um, and, and they could all fall over tomorrow, as could fiat currencies, because it's all, it's no longer backed, you know, since the 30s, it's not been backed by gold, it's backed by the US dollar, and the US dollar is almost worthless. So, you know, unless you're going to go and buy gold or, or buy rubles, <laughs> because, because Russia is going great guns, no matter, uh, oh, forgive the pun. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, you know, you've got to find another way. And so that's, that's what I'm, I used to, I, you know, I didn't know any of this. It's been a, a long learning, a steep learning curve, just the same as it has been with natural health. Um, and I'm glad I've learned it because in the past, you know, I, money would burn a hole in my pocket and, and I would get money in and I would get bills in for twice the amount of money and I'd already spent it on something fun. And so, you know, you've you've got to find a way to to make sure that you can you can get through. Yeah, no, definitely. And also with the lessons that you've learned and I've learned and other people have learned, people don't need to make those um, to take those hard lessons. They can listen and and it's much easier for them to, you know, to be able to come in here and, and learn the ways, you know, that you would be sharing with them. So, you know, that's important as well. Um, and obviously they're open to listen to it. A lot of people aren't, and that's absolutely fine. But if you're open, then then you know Jamie and I can tell you a, a myriad of different ways to take. And and the way I refer to it is is when your ship comes in, don't stick it in the bank or fritter it away. And your ship might be a badly patched dinghy. Okay. Right? I can, you know, 
I can find a way for to make a very small amount of money start to make you money. We yeah. can both find a way to do that. So yeah. you know, don't think. I mean, I made the mistake of thinking. Every, I went. I went. I was. Um, I was very lucky. I went with 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 work. I went to the states for um, three months for training. Um, I was learning coding, and everybody there, because they have a different attitude over there. Everybody there had a stock portfolio, even though there were only like twenty one. And I was like, what? And I thought you needed a minimum of five thousand pounds saved up before you could possibly have a stock portfolio. <laughs> Any stocks? I didn't know that. I didn't know there was such a thing because it's it's just sort of it's it's in our society it's just hidden from view. It's not a it it's you know the only way you're going to win it is you're only going to get that money is if you win the lottery. At the end of the day, you and I know that working nine to five, you're never going to have that sort of money. Yeah. And that the and the, the you know ratio of the possibility of you winning the lottery is ridiculous. And and you've got to be doing something else. If you love your 95, fantastic. But you've got to be doing something else because that company could get, you could get replaced by a robot tomorrow. Yeah. Really yeah, intriguing. Very nice. And yeah. then what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no loyalty anymore. You know, if your time's up, your time's up. You know, you're lucky to get a handshake. And 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 certainly, when you've been in a company for a long time and they come into retirement, and and I've heard so many stories about people just being let go with nothing. You know, I mean, that, that's, yes. it's criminal. Uh, it really is. So you know, we have to look Absolutely. for ourselves. It used to be such a thing as a job for life, and even if it was boring, it was a job for life and a retirement package. But at the end of the day, we now work forty hours a week for forty years to live on forty percent of our end salary, and and where and we get two and a half weeks off a year. Is that's not? thriving that's surviving yeah yeah i'm not here for survival yeah, yeah i'm here to thrive and i'm here to help others do the same yeah definitely definitely now we can see the sign behind you the freedom collective tell us about that mm -hmm. so this was um i started that up when i was in that last company as i said that that um that unfortunately sort of fell over i think you were in it too um um and basically what happened was, you know, as I said to you, I, I decided to go into multiple opportunities. I didn't want to have all my eggs in one basket anymore. And I was very picky about my due diligence and who I trusted on what information that they were going to give me. And um, because I had found these opportunities that I really liked and they were all sort of slightly different, um, I thought, well, a lot of people come to me and they they're interested in they're interested in what I'm doing because I tend to do uh, much attraction marketing on social media. Um, and then if I just if I'm just with one company and I tell them about that company, they might not be interested in that company. And then they'll go to somebody else. So what if you come to me and you and I say right, okay, what is your passion? Because the only way you are going to make money in doing something on the side is by following your passion. Let's find something that I already do that matches up with your passion. You can be really passionate about because then you won't be working. You'll be enjoying. The majority of what I do really and truly is having conversations like this with you about okay what are your issues and let's see if we can fix them together hand in hand with as much support as you can poke a stick at and move forward with positivity yeah yeah no you're right and the support is a big thing it's like a big family um and that's the lovely thing about it there and yourself and other people are contactable um most waking hours and that as well which is lovely and if not then i'll get back really soon but um if there's one thing i'd like people to take away from this podcast about the health about the well-being about the passive income um i mean there's probably many but is there something you'd just like to share just before we sort of you know bring this to a to a close um one thing I'd like to get people to understand, yeah, there's always alternatives. There's always alternatives. I I uh, lived in Cambridge for a little while, and in Cambridge, once a year, they have Science Week. And you can go to lectures all over Cambridge about all different subjects. And I 
went to a particular lecture that I wanted to go to and this professor was on the stage and somebody asked him about the value of echinacea, which you and I know is a great immune booster. And he quoted a paper which I was familiar with, which said, no, it's, it's absolutely no use at all, don't bother. But I knew that that paper, they were using a quarter of the recommended amount. And so I knew, you know, if you take a quarter of a paracetamol, what do you expect to happen? Nothing. So what I would say is we are all told many things. We're all taught many things. Society sort of imposes many things on us throughout our entire life. Um, and there's peer pressure here, there and everywhere. What I would say is do your own research because quite often what I find is people will be absolutely stuck on, no, this is the answer, this is the answer. And they will have researched up to the point that they got the answer that they wanted and no further. You need to go further. You need to learn from and get mentoring for the people who are going to go further. Mm. There, there was other research that I found that said, um, uh, you know, um, thimerosal uh, um, is disappears from the uh, bloodstream within seven days, whereas a different form of mercury it takes twenty eight days. Right? Okay. There is a paper that says it disappears within seven days. The follow up paper shows it's not passed from the body. It disappears in seven days because it goes directly through the blood brain barrier into the brain and stays there destroying ne neurons. Mm. But they'll only go as far as the paper that aligns with their view. So yeah. due diligence is, is on everything. Yeah, no, that really, it is due diligence doing your, doing your own research and seeing what feels right. And we've talked about this before about your own natural instinct, your own feeling. And, and if it feels right, then, then that's good. If it doesn't feel right, then question mm -hmm. it. Trust you know, your gut. Yeah, and, and you've, you've put it on quotes, I'll put it out on quotes. It's not about why do we know this information, it's why you don't know this information when it's freely available out there and there's many sources that you can that you can do that so you know it really is but um, absolutely with 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 the internet that we now have with the tools that we now have our finger fingertips ignorance is no longer an excuse yep. it's 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 some people don't want to do the research no 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 and, and i have a family member as well was well how come i wasn't on bbc one and I sort of wanted to hit my head. You know, I think, well, excuse me, you know, who owns, yeah. the, who owns the news? Who owns BBC One? Oh, yes, and loads uh, of paedophiles. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Sometimes you have to wonder. But the information is there, and, and that's the important thing, that we can find this information and we can start to look after ourselves like you have. You took a, a – it was a huge journey for you, and for most people out there, it's nowhere near that. But uh, we talked about before again, it's the blue pill, red pill, and, and all the pictures you see, you know, do you want to look after yourself and, and do this naturally, or you just want to stand in line – with 90% of the other people, probably 99%, and just have that quick, you know, that quick drug. So, you know. Um, I, think, I think I think you you, you noticed uh, one of the memes that I put out the other day, which was, you know, since, since the Flexner report in 1910, we have been um, trained, so to speak, to trust the men in the white coats. Yeah. Trust, trust, you know, trust anybody who, who would appears to have superior knowledge to you because they must be right yes. and we have through not the nicest means found that that is not the way yes yeah yeah very much so and there's all those ones here and it's been proven from that time and before that the people there uh only know what they've been taught and they believe in that and that's uh that's that's where the problem you know really does yeah. come in but unfortunately i i now with as i said uh, my my gp back 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 when i was off sick was the sweetest woman you've ever met and 
I'm sure quite unaware that she's now part, she's as far as I'm concerned, part of the cut poison burn brigade. Sure. That I avoid at costs. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. Because, very, very because so. if what's what's the quote? If you if you take a pill, you have to you have to heal from the pill as well as the disease. Yes. Yes. And then then mixing two pills together, you don't know what the reaction is. Let alone my mother was on twenty odd pills three times a day, and then not knowing you know why Alzheimer's and all these other things. Absolutely. So we we actually know what Alzheimer's is, is contributed to and and uh, and dementia is associated with the statins that are automatically prescribed when you hit 50 in the UK. They yeah. bore holes into the brain and we have had people come off this. We've had a, a gentleman take his wife off the statins uh, that she'd been on for 10 years. And within 24 hours, he started seeing her brain come back. Yeah, yeah. We know that. We also know that the Alzheimer's drugs and the dementia drugs are actually coated in aluminium. And Professor Chris actually says you don't find Alzheimer's patients who don't have aluminium in the brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you want to get rid of aluminium and you want to do it cheaply and easily, what I highly recommend is you go and get a water high in silica. A silis is my favourite. Volvic is another one which you can get anywhere. There's no commission for me or Jamie for doing that. And you will start to get the aluminium out of your system. But if you have um, metal uh, in your in your teeth, get them out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. You're absorbing mercury and aluminium every time you pass drink or food over them every single time. Yeah. I think um, I think we're going to have to come back for another conversation because this is I want to get deeper and I want to share this so people have a, a realization and a and a source where they you know where we can uh, to learn these from um, because it does it does start to go uh, very interestingly you know into things that people some of them have no idea about so I'd like to do that again. Some but... have no idea. I have got a website. It's hbturner.healthcare specifically for for the healthcare things if you, uh, if you go into yeah if you go into my link tree you'll see all of the links to everything down below uh including yeah which i can put down below which which will include you know the magazine and the 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 uh the health the the natural health for pets conference and and everything it's all there Fantastic, fantastic. Hope. Hey, really, thank you very much for coming on here. And I said we're going to have to do this again in, in a little while. To, to thank you for inviting me. me. Yeah, no, I'd love it. Lovely. Um, and uh, thank you to Share at webdesignshare.com. And please um, like, share, um, subscribe, and comment. Um, now the algorithms have changed again. So, uh, and, and to spread the word and let people know that there are people you know like hope out there but that's got so much information to share and that's so very important and thank for you guys for listening into the coming podcast you know we are slowly growing as a family as a community and, and this is why i'm saying please share this with other people it, it's important to get that information out there um and that would be wonderful so hey listen everyone Thank you very much for, for listening in and hope thank you for sharing all the information and look forward to catching up with everyone real soon. Bye for now. Bye.